Every winter morning, millions of diesel owners make one silent mistake, a 90-second habit that secretly destroys their turbo 60,000 miles early. Not bad fuel, not cheap oil, just one wrong move the moment you start your truck. In this video, we're breaking down the truth behind cold starts, idling myths, and the real science of diesel warmups. You'll see what Cummins engineers discovered after testing 217 engines, why Bosch called long idling the most expensive mistake in diesel history, and how a few seconds of smart timing can save you over $12,000 in wear and repair costs. Whether you drive a Power Stroke, Duramax, or Cummins, this is an opinion. It's pure engineering decoded. So before you hit that start button tomorrow morning, watch till the end. Because what happens in the first 90 seconds decides your turbo's life, your transmission's health, and your wallet's future. Point one. Why diesel engines are completely different before we talk solutions, understand this. Your diesel isn't just a louder gas engine. Diesel engines compress air at 16 to 1 to 23 to 1 ratios, nearly double a gasoline engine's 10 to 1. This extreme squeeze generates 900 degrees Fahrenheit just to ignite fuel. But when your block is freezing, physics turns brutal. That SAE 15W40 oil in your pan? At zero degrees Fahrenheit, it thickens to 3,200 centipoise. At operating temperature, same oil flows at 300 centipoise. Your oil pump is pushing cold syrup through bearing clearances designed for water. Worse yet, fuel atomization drops 40% below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You're not getting fine mist anymore. You're getting heavy droplets creating incomplete combustion and painting your combustion chamber black with carbon. This sets up the first major problem most owners completely miss. Point two, the idling trap everyone falls into. Here's where it gets interesting. Letting your diesel idle for 15 minutes actually causes more damage than driving it cold. Sounds backwards, right? At idle, diesels burn so little fuel, they barely generate 200 degrees Fahrenheit in the exhaust. Nowhere close to the 600 degrees Fahrenheit needed for complete combustion. Bosch documented this phenomenon as wet stacking, unburned diesel washing past piston rings, diluting your oil, and coating your DPF in raw fuel. Their 2022 fleet study track, commercial trucks, and the results were shocking. Trucks that idled 20 plus minutes daily needed DPF replacement at 18,000 miles instead of the normal 100,000 miles. That's an $1,800 filter dying five times faster because drivers thought they were doing the right thing. Your turbocharger suffers even worse during extended idling, but we'll get to that in a minute. Point three, the temperature-based strategy that actually works. So what's the real answer? It depends on temperature, but the principle stays consistent. Above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, idle just 30 to 60 seconds maximum. Your oil pressure hits 40 PSI in 15 seconds. That's full bearing protection right there. Then drive gently, keeping RPMS under 2,000 until the gauge starts moving. Between 0 degrees Fahrenheit and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, idle 2 to 3 minutes while you scrape windows. Your 15W40 needs that time to drop from 1,200 centipoise to 800 centipoise, thick enough to seal compression, thin enough to actually flow. Below 0 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 minutes maximum. After 7 minutes, you're burning 40 cents per hour in fuel while accumulating carbon faster than you're building heat. Duramax owner's manuals confirm this exact timing across 2011 through 2024 models with zero variation. But here's what the manual doesn't tell you about what happens next. Point four, why driving gently beats idling every single time. The secret nobody talks about. Diesels need load to warm up, not just time. Gentle driving creates four times more heat than idling because combustion temperatures jump from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 800 degrees Fahrenheit under light throttle. Keep it under 2000 RPM and 25% throttle for the first five miles. Your oil temperature climbs from 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 180 degrees Fahrenheit in eight minutes of driving versus 22 minutes of sitting still. The turbocharger becomes your gatekeeper here. Those turbo bearings need 200 degrees Fahrenheit plus oil to form a proper hydrodynamic film that prevents metal-on-metal -metal contact. Ford's 6.7-liter Power Stroke manual 
specifically warns against boost until oil temps exceed 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's a full 10 minutes after your coolant gauge looks normal. Most guys see that needle move and think they're good to hammer it. Dead wrong, and here's why that matters so much. Point five, the tools that actually make a difference. Block heaters aren't some luxury item for extreme climates. They're $40 insurance against $200 per year in accelerated wear. Plug in two to four hours before starting. You don't need it running all night, wasting electricity. A $15 timer automates this perfectly. In 2023, Alberta testing, preheated engines showed 73% less cylinder wear after 500 cold starts compared to non-heated engines. Battery warmers matter because diesel starters pull 600 to 900 amps and batteries lose 60% capacity at zero degrees Fahrenheit. A $35 warmer beats replacing a $180 battery every two winters. Winter diesel additives with anti-gel rated to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit cost $12 per bottle but prevent $450 fuel system purges when wax crystals clog your filter at minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Simple math wins, but even with all these tools, there's one system everyone forgets about. Point six, your transmission is freezing while your engine warms up. Your engine might be warming up, but your Allison 1000 transmission is still sitting at 40 degrees Fahrenheit with SAE 75W 90 fluid behaving like cold honey. API GL5 spec fluids thicken 300% below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, making synchronizers grind and clutch packs slip. A 2021 GM study found transmissions shifted 120 milliseconds slower when cold, enough to feel harsh, clunky engagement. The fix is simple. Drive gently for 15 minutes to warm all fluids simultaneously. Idling only warms coolant, but leaves transmission and differential oil ice cold, creating a viscosity mismatch that shock loads gears during your first hard acceleration. Your $4,500 transmission rebuild at 80,000 miles instead of 180,000 miles? That's the actual cost of impatience. And speaking of patience, there's another timer most people ignore completely. Point seven, the oil temperature lag nobody warns you about. When your temperature gauge hits normal at 195 degrees Fahrenheit, don't celebrate yet. Coolant temperature and oil temperature are cousins who show up at completely different times. Oil lags behind by 10 to 15 minutes because it's circulating through a cold engine block, oil cooler, and turbocharger. Mobile One's thermal study showed oil only reaching 180 degrees Fahrenheit when coolant hit 200 degrees Fahrenheit after 10 minutes of driving. True operating oil temperature at 220 degrees Fahrenheit took a full 23 minutes of highway speed. Until oil is genuinely hot, your turbo bearings are running on semi-viscous film instead of full hydrodynamic protection. Newer trucks like 2020 plus Ram 2500 models display actual oil temperature. Use it religiously. If your truck doesn't have this gauge, wait 20 minutes of total drive time before towing heavy or building serious boost. This patience pays off big time, especially considering what happens at the other end of your drive. Point eight, the cool down protocol that saves turbos. After towing 10,000 pounds of a mountain grade, your EGT or exhaust gas temperature might hit 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit and your turbo's spinning at 120,000 RPM. Shut it off immediately? You just cut oil flow while the center housing is glowing red hot. Garrett turbo engineering specs require a 30 to 90 second cool down idle whenever EGT exceeds 650 degrees Fahrenheit. Their warranty claims database revealed something shocking. 62% of turbo failures under 100,000 miles came directly from hot shutdowns. Let it idle until EGT drops to 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, usually about 60 seconds. That idle costs eight cents in fuel, but saves a $2,800 turbo replacement. The bearing oil literally cooks and carbonizes at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, plus without flow, creating deposits that choke lubrication passages. Easy math here, 90 seconds of idling equals 8,000 hour turbo life versus 400 hours without proper cool down. But there's one more real world scenario we need to address. Point nine, the real cost of getting this wrong. Let's add up what ignoring this advice actually costs. DPF replacement from wet stacking, $1,800 at 18,000 miles instead of 100,000 miles. 
Turbocharger failure from hot shutdowns or cold lubrication. $2,800 at 60,000 miles instead of 200,000 miles. Transmission rebuild from cold shock loading. $4,500 at 80,000 miles instead of 180,000 miles. Injector replacement from carbon buildup and incomplete combustion. $3,200 for a set of eight injectors at 90,000 miles instead of 150,000 miles. Total premature maintenance from wrong warm-up procedures, $12,300 over the life of your truck. That's not some scare tactic. That's Bosch, Garrett, Cummins, and Allison warranty data compiled across commercial fleets. Every single one of these failures traced back to improper thermal management during startup and shutdown cycles. Final truth, this is engineering, not opinion. Your diesel doesn't need pampering or guesswork. It needs load, heat, and intelligent timing. Short idles, gentle driving under load, proper tools, and strategic cooldowns. This isn't maintenance mythology passed down from your uncle. This is Cummins, Duramax, and Power Stroke Engineering specifications decoded from actual OEM service manuals. You're not babying your truck. You're operating $60,000 of precision engineering exactly how the people who designed it intended. And speaking of engineering decisions, your oil choice changes literally everything we just discussed. Watch this video next. The truth about 0W20 versus 5W30 oil. 50 engines tested. Because viscosity selection makes or breaks this entire warm-up strategy. If you found this helpful, subscribe right now. Because we're breaking down real automotive engineering every single week. Watch this video next. Do this and your car battery will last 10 years. Secret maintenance for used and pre-owned cars. Drop your diesel model in the comments. Ford Super Duty, Ram Cummins, Silverado Duramax, and I'll decode the exact warm-up protocol from your manual. That's not truck talk. That's turbo science.